All right, friends, good morning. Hopefully everybody's doing well in this beautiful day outside here in South Florida. So that's neither here nor there, let's get down to business. Um, as you read on the title and on the image, we're working on building triplet phrases. So the reason being is that for myself, I tend to play the same uh, triplet phrase over and over and over. And basically it's a three beat triplet phrase and it's broken down to five plus four. So the five side is a paradiddle five, right, left, right, right, left, and then the four single strokes, okay? So uh, real quick, I'll showcase that on the drum set. So one, two, one, two, three. Okay. And then sometimes what I'll do is, um, as you may have heard when I played it, um, on the left, I think th uh, the first time I played on the first left on the four side, sometimes I would put it there or sometimes I would put it on the last left on the four side. So I'll play both of them a little bit more so then you get in a better idea. So it'd be one, two, one. In the, the first left on the five, I'm sorry. So, okay, so normally I play that phrase and I I don't know, man, I've killed it to death when I play it. I've used it to death, excuse me. Um, when it comes to jam sessions or when I'm practicing solo ideas and stuff like that. Um, so, I needed something new. So, with that being said, I came up with um, this series of exercises, okay? So, the principle is the same as last week, or the last video, excuse me. Um, you have a one beat phrase. You have, or, yeah, phrase or sticking, that's one beat. A phrase or sticking that lasts um, two beats, three beats, and then four beats, okay? Or eighth note, quarter note, dotted quarter note, half note. However you want to think about it, okay? So, the one beat in this case would be right, right, left. And the left accent, excuse me. So... So that'd be your your one beat, okay? Your two beat is gonna be a six stroke triplet roll. It's gonna be right, left, left, right, right, left. So Okay? And that's probably the only one where it's gonna have that kind of six stroke roll kind of effect. Uh, the rest of them or the next two are gonna deal with single strokes and the right, right, left to end there. So the dotted uh, quarter note or the three beat phrase is gonna be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. So da, 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 da. Right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> play it. I don't know how you guys do it. So, sounds like this if I start playing it. Okay. And then finally, the, um, the measure phrase or uh, the half note phrase, however you want to th think about it, it's going to be... Um, you're gonna add an extra set of single strokes. So, oh no, sorry, sorry. You're not adding an extra set of single strokes. You're adding an extra right, right, left. So it's gonna be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. So. Okay, so 
Let's play them in succession. So, one, two, three, four. Beginning. Okay, so that's the idea um, for this series of exercises. And um, for me, when I was creating it, uh, one of the things that I wanted was a phrase where that last triplet note, I could have an accent. Um, don't know why, it was just something that I really wanted to have. And that's how this kind of sticking series or these phrases came to be, okay? Um, since we have a drum set, <laughs> um, let's move it from the pad to the drum set real quick uh, on the snare drum. Uh, so let's see what we can come up with. So let's just play the phrase. One, two, three, four. So, you know, um, it's always important to get all these things that you practice on the practice pad and put it um, on the snare drum. Uh, never stay stagnant when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like, you should be able to play whatever you play here, and you should be able to play here on a drum set. So, um, that's why it's good to, uh, whatever you practice, man, just put it here as well. That being said, we have a drum set. <laughs> so, let's. Let's see what happens if we move it around. also another way to practice it like that single accent note you can move it around to the toms or rim shots or stuff like that um for me i actually like to i guess since i've been practicing a lot of like uh symbol stuff um i like to incorporate it to see if i could actually put it into like a comping context or or some kind of a fill where it's just a cymbal, bass drum, snare drum. So sometimes I actually like to do something like this. Um, and specifically with the um, the three beat phrase and the four beat phrase. So maybe I usually do something like this. succession sometimes I'll stick to one and then move on to the other one so um, yeah so that's uh, today's phrase I guess <laughs> um, yeah to, for me that was just the main thing I wanted a phrase where yeah I wanted an accent to end uh, that phrase without sticking <laughs> That was like the main thing. Of course, you could actually get these, and if you want an accent to start the phrase, uh, that's perfectly acceptable. 
just invert um, the triplets, I, I assume. Instead of right, right, left, um, depending on which hand you want, maybe right, left, left. singles first two beats and then the last two beats were right left left right left left okay so yeah you could get this and you can invert it and mess around with it whichever way you want um of course right there in these examples i was doing it um just moving the uh the accent um uh, around but you can with the single strokes as well um one cool idea that came to mind when it came to the single strokes was um So it'd be the first set of triplets here, second set here, and then uh, right, right, left. phrase one two three so there you have it actually that's pretty cool let me experiment a little bit more That's actually pretty cool. So, um, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, um, you can shoot me a message um, or leave a comment. You know, either or, I'll I'll make sure to respond um, ASAP. Um, PDF is below um, on the main set. Uh, the exercise is right, right, left. Um, if you want me to do a PDF for uh, the phrase starting with the accent, right, left, left. Let me know. I'd be glad to do that as well. And of course, um, thank you so much for checking this out. Hopefully, there's at least one thing of use. If there's at least one thing or one phrase, then that makes me a very happy person. Um, thank you so much for checking this out. And I will catch you very, very soon. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Peace out.